Ray Salinas presents Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Brought to you by 7 Now. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas. Let's go Inside the Huddle. Everybody, welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Jane Slater of the NFL Network, joined this week by Blake Jarwin, Cowboys tight end, and special thanks to our sponsors, Seven Now. We're going to hear from them later in the show. They've got some really cool stuff that they are working on. And if this is your first time in our live audience, thank you for coming here. We really feed off of your energy, and that's what really makes this show amazing. And then also to our sponsors, thanks for helping us put this show on. And for those of you that are watching at home in so many of our markets, we added Austin uh, to our market this year. Pretty excited about that. Thank you for tuning in every week. You really got on the map last year after that Giants game. Week 17, you didn't have just one touchdown. You had three. What got into you that day? What did you have for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just think, uh, you know, we put a lot of work into each and every week. And, uh, you know, I was kind of building on my confidence. And, uh, you know, I just... I had a few weeks prior, I'd had a good game against Philadelphia, and I was feeling pretty good about myself. And, uh, you know, a lot of people came into the, the week thinking it wasn't important. Well, as a young player, I was thinking it was very important. So uh, I pushed myself during the week, and uh, me and Dak had just been continuing to build on our chemistry and uh, kind of showed up. Uh, you know, we put the balls where I could catch them and, uh, you know, luckily just made a few plays. So When you're a new player like that and you have a signature game, what does your cell phone look like after that? Yeah, that was a, that was a, that was tough. Uh, You know, how to take care of business, text my girlfriend first, tell her, you know, hey, it's going to be a little bit, but, uh, you know, yeah, it was crazy. It was cool. Uh, A lot of people reached out to me and, uh, you know, I was was grateful. What was it like seeing sort of your Instagram following start to rise and social media and, and all of a sudden, I'm sure your parents are reaching out to you and saying, there was an article written about you, yeah. so and so talked about you. What's that like to see that sort of the shift from a guy who was once undrafted and on the practice squad to a guy that people are talking about on this offense? Yeah, that's kind of just one thing I've always pushed myself to do is just you know make my family proud. Uh, being a walk on Oklahoma State, proving myself that I can make it there, and then making it as an undrafted free agent, like you said, uh, just you know just to make the people that have always given me a chance make them happy and uh, proud. So you know I kind of put put that in the back of my mind at each and every day when I go to work, and uh, you know just. If I can end my day with that goal in mind, then, you know, it's been a good day. For people that don't know this guy's backstory, so he started off on the Cowboys practice squad, and all of a sudden that NFC East division rival, the Philadelphia Eagles, called the Cowboys. And guess what? They went out of their way to create a spot for you carrying what was a little crazy, four Titans that year. What did you think about that? Yeah, well, coming out, it was, uh, you know, undrafted free agency process. I, I, I had the opportunity between a few teams and Philadelphia was another one. And uh, I put myself in position. I said, where do I want to be? You know, where do I want to play for my career and, uh, you know, push myself? And I had to go, you know, with Dallas, be with Witt for a few years and, you know, develop underneath him. And so uh, I chose that early. And then also halfway through the year, I got another chance where it was like, hey, do you want to go play for Philadelphia? Or do you want to stay in Dallas? And I was like, man, I'd like this is where I want to be. This is this is the program that I want to I play with. So, uh you know, I had that chance to go back there. And a little tidbit, I used to be a Philly fan growing up. And <laughs> I, you know, I wasn't going to out you, Blake, know, but you I'm weren't. glad that I, you I just went ahead and full admission. Us, yeah. So, uh, you know, but no, it was a big step for me. Like I said, uh, you know, I, I said, where do I want to play? You know, I want to be a Dallas Cowboy. All right. When we come back on the other side of this break, I'm going to see what else we can get out of this guy now that we've got him up here. <laughs> Inside that, I'll be right back. Honey, are you ready for game day? Joey, are you ready for game day? There you go. Blow that coffee. Ah. Now you're game day ready. Get your 7-Eleven favorites delivered with the 7-Now delivery app and get $7 off your first order with the code. Terms and conditions apply. Hi. I'm Rogers Healy, but some people call me Roger Healy. So when I give out my email address, I say email me at rogershealy.com. It works, but it's kind of annoying because my name is actually Rogers and not Roger. So when we can help you out, 
go to rogersheely.com or even rogersheely.com. It's two different people, but it's the same great service. For all your real estate needs, info at rogersheely.com. But whose name is Rogers? It's just a super weird name. When you're buying insurance, finding protection closer to home is always better. After all, who's more likely to care about you? Somebody at the other end of an 800 number or your local professional insurance agent? The Christina Adcock Agency is a family-owned insurance agency with over 25 years of combined insurance experience that can insure everything that is important to you. Call the Christina Adcock Agency today at 972-495-7788 for your complimentary insurance review and quote. From front gates to water features, Beacon Hill is a luxury lakefront community just 45 minutes southeast of Dallas. Weekend boaters and permanent residents love the state-of-the-art marina with breakwater jetty. It's all part of the art of lakeside living at Beacon Hill. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Jane Slater of the NFL Network, joined by Cowboys tight end Blake Jarwin. And I was just beginning to pry a little bit and get to know some of these coaches. I promise you we're not going to try and get you in trouble. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to ask you about Jason Garrett. One of the jokes that he typically has uh, with us in the media is we'll talk about it over lemonades. Does he play around with you guys when it comes to lemonades? Uh, occasionally, you know, yeah, you know. Hey, let's let's do our job. And maybe we'll have a few lemonades on the way home or something <laughs> like that. And uh, you know, we won't get too far into detail with that. But uh, yeah, you know, he like it's, it's it's similar to Gundy, but in a totally different perspective. Uh, you know, they push you in the week, but they also understand that you're also you know a human. You're not just a football player. So they want you to have a good time and get that uh you know mental check outside of the football. So many people I found have had such this outside perception of Jason Garrett, and then when you get to know him, sort of away from the podium and the mic and. Uh, away from the football field, he's a, a bit of a different guy, has been my interpretation. What's Jason Garrett like to you behind closed doors and as a coach and as a guy in the locker room? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a tough, tough job for a head coach because, you know, they, they, they got to push you hard and, and not, you know, coddle you, but also, you know, got to help you out when you need it. So uh, he's always been there for me when I need it. If, I'm, if I've ever been injured, he's like, hey, how you, how you feeling, man? Are you doing okay? Do we need to, you know, you all right? And, uh, That's a pretty good Jason Garrett impression. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, to me, that's that 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 means a lot. Uh, you know, I understand that it's it's a tough business. We're all banged up, but he can just take a few seconds out of his day to say, "Hey, man, how do you really feel? Do you feel okay?" That uh, you know, that that's uh, that, that means a lot. You know, we were also talking about Oklahoma State, and one of my favorite spots there is the Eskimo Joe spot. Did Absolutely. you frequent it at all? Are you guys familiar with Eskimo Joe's? Uh, yeah. If you've never had their. Uh, their uh, cheese fries there, their bacon bacon cheese fries. I With the little cin suggest. cinnamon on top? No, they're just, it's uh, peppered bacon cheese fries. Next time you're in town, go check it out. It's intense. And then, of course, how many, how many, like, I've got to think that you guys, especially, especially The Bachelor, you know, when you guys are just getting out of college and you're setting up your home, it seems like there's just college guys. We've got a few of, like, the tumblers, the seven now tumblers on the, uh, the table in front of us. How many of those hypercolor Eskimo Joe's cups did you have? Oh, yeah. Uh, throughout college, that was all we had. It was like 40 <laughs> cups. You know, you didn't have to do dishes for forever because they never, it was endless. Uh, and then even today, I still hold on to a few. My girlfriend has made me move to normal cups, except for like my five originals that I've taken. <laughs> so those are my pride and joy. I'll never get rid of those ever. So, uh, yeah, but uh, also, you know, my rookie year when Des was still around, uh, the, the guys actually sent us like 200 cups for to give out to the locker room. So it was really? cool. Yeah, so we, everybody was taking cups. And, you know, I, I still have a few actually in my locker. I need to probably transport those. But my girlfriend just threw them away. So I guess I'll just, <laughs> just leave them there. She's already figuring it out, yeah, isn't yeah, she? she is. I love it. All right, well, I, I you and I talked about this uh, before we did the show. Speaking of making it hurt, I know you're not a big fan of The Bachelor, but your girlfriend dragged you out with Chris Harrison. You guys familiar with the host of The Bachelor? I'm dying to know how this dinner went. Do you guys want to hear that backstory? All right, that's story. We come back here on Inside the Huddle. Honey, are you ready for game day? Joey, are you ready for game day? Here you go. Blow that coffee. Ah.
Now your game day ready. Get your 7-Eleven favorites delivered with the 7-Now delivery app and get $7 off your first order with the code. Terms and conditions apply. Hi, my name's Joshua Jones, and my story began probably like a lot of yours are right now, where I was in dental pain, and I had several options, but I'd heard the amazing reputation of Dr. Lee and his staff and Crystal Creek Dental, and so I decided to move forward with dental implants and use them, and I'm glad I did. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Dr. Lee's great. Not only am I out of pain, I feel good about my smile. Love Dr. Lee, love the, uh, the staff at Crystal Creek Dental, and uh, I highly recommend them. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. Buying a car should be an easy experience. At Premier Autos of Dallas, it's just that. You just sign and drive. Talk about cars, they have plenty. They can get you any car you want. Even if you're not on the market for a car, Premier Autos of Dallas can maintain and fix any car that you have. From small jobs to big jobs, our certified mechanics have got you covered. Premier Auto of Dallas, where you can find your dream car. everyone to Inside the Huddle. I am your host, Jane Slater of the NFL Network. Thank you for tuning in. I wanted to talk about uh, your sit down with Chris Harrison. Are there a lot of Bachelor fans in the room? Anybody watch The Bachelor? I kind of gave up on it a couple of years back. Melissa Rycroft was the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader that I thought got hosed and then I was out. <laughs> um, but Chris Harrison, a Dallas guy, lives in the area. I know he's a huge Cowboys fan. You ended up at a dinner with him with your girlfriend. How did that work? Yeah, so my agent is actually, she goes way back to where, you know, Chris was still in college and they were friends back then. So they've always been close. And uh, towards the end of la or at the end of last year, I guess, she reached out and she said, hey, do you want to go to the, the Bachelor finale? And I was like, well, I better text my girlfriend and find out. So, and uh, you know, that was like, yeah, let's do it, let's go. And so we jumped on a plane, went to LA. And uh, the first time I actually met him, I had my suitcase and all that. We were staying, you know, for a few days. And I walked into his dressing room. And, you know, and that was the first time I ever met the guy. And he acted like he had known me his whole life, you know, really, uh, this is the guy that you see on TV, real personal and just, hey man, how you doing? Hey, I was like, this is Chris Harrison. And, you know, I'm not a big fan, but he's a <laughs> pretty popular guy, you know, he just talked to me like I'm a normal guy. So no, it's cool. Uh, you know, after that, and then uh, he actually drove us to our hotel room in his car. You know, he's like, hey, dude, yeah, I'll take you home, man. Don't worry about it. Well, so, you know, it was cool to kind of get to know him. And then actually, I think he just reached out to me a few days ago uh, after, uh, I think it was New York game. He said, hey, man, you know, when you get a chance, let's go have some dinner. So uh, I'll sit and down with him. And the ticket hookup isn't bad either, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so uh, no, it's cool. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, you know, obviously, my girlfriend loves every part of that. And uh, that makes me happy. So, so you got bonus points that that's weekend. That's right. That's right. Uh, you know, Tyler Cameron was a Florida athletic tight end that was recently on The Bachelor. Hannah uh, unceremoniously dumped him right before, and now he's dating a supermodel. So a lot can happen for a football wow. player. Why do you think a football player makes a good candidate for The Bachelor? I don't know. I guess he just kind of has some kind of appeal about him. Uh, it must be something about the tight ends, I guess you could say. No, <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's uh, you know, those kind of shows are cool. I don't know how I'd fare on something like that, and uh, I'm going to stay away from that, obviously. i got a great girlfriend, so. Um, but no, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what other shows does your girlfriend drag you into watching? Any kind of, uh, like, beach real estate show. Uh, Say Yes to the Dress has been the newest one that I've had. Oh, that's see, subtle. See, <laughs> see, well, yeah. Oh, well, I have PlayStation View, and so every time I get on there, it goes to what has been previously played, and she uses it. So every day when I come home to watch some TV, that's on the channel. So I'm like, no. That is that right very now. subtle. I yeah, like what yeah. she's doing there. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> fight the good battle as long as I can, you know? No. Uh, <laughs> we're streaming here, Blake. I told you, I'm not going to get you in trouble she on the show. Good. We didn't cover that. It's an area that's <laughs> off limits. How did you meet her? 
Uh, so she's from my hometown, actually, but we met my, uh, my senior year of college. And uh, she's still up there finishing up right now. She's got, this is her last semester. She's going to be uh, elementary education. Uh, major, so she's finishing up her uh, her studying, and then uh, hopefully she can find a job down here. That's awesome. So how does it work? Does she come in for the games? Like it's got to be tricky. I mean, there's a lot of travel. You guys are so busy during the season. Right. How do you guys make it work? Yeah, she uh, she just comes down on Fridays as much as she can, and then uh, you know on the off season or off week we'll uh, we'll go somewhere, kind of have a, a few days to ourselves, and then uh, you know just as much as we can just see each other, get on the phone, talk to each other. Awesome. Well, we'll have more with Blake Jarwin here when we come back on Inside the Huddle. From front gates to water features, Beacon Hill is a luxury lakefront community just 45 minutes southeast of Dallas. Weekend boaters and permanent residents love the state-of-the-art marina with breakwater jetty. It's all part of the art of lakeside living at Beacon Hill. When you're buying insurance, finding protection closer to home is always better. After all, who's more likely to care about you? Somebody at the other end of an 800 number or your local professional insurance agent? The Christina Adcock Agency is a family-owned insurance agency with over 25 years of combined insurance experience that can insure everything that is important to you. Call the Christina Adcock Agency today at 972-495-7788 for your complimentary insurance review and quote. Hi, I'm Rogers Healy, but some people call me Roger Healy. So when I give out my email address, I say email me at rogershealy.com. It works, but it's kind of annoying because my name is actually Rogers and not Roger. So when we can help you out, go to rogershealy.com or even rogershealy.com. It's two different people, but it's the same great service. For all your real estate needs, info at rogershealy.com. But whose name is Rogers? It's just a super weird name. Honey, are you ready for game day? Joey, are you ready for game day? Here you go. Blow that coffee. Ah. Now you're game day ready. Get your 7-Eleven favorites delivered with the 7-Now delivery app and get $7 off your first order with the code. Terms and conditions apply. David Thomas with Premier Autos of Dallas, and I want to thank Dak Prescott for being our customer and our friend. And how do you like your car? Oh, I love my car, and I love the service. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Dak. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Jane Slater of the NFL Network, joined by tight end Blake Jarwin of the Cowboys. I'm always fascinated what goes into getting your, yourselves game ready. Uh, if you guys have ever been out to the Star in Frisco, they have this facility called Cowboys Fit. It's their workout facility for us commoners, us peasants that aren't the athletes. Uh, but up on the wall, it tells you how much each player needs uh, to keep up with their, their bodies. In other words, how much protein they take, how many calories they need to burn, you name it. How detailed are your nutritionists uh, and, and the trainers out there and what goes into the tight end position? Yeah, they do a great job uh, staying on top of us, especially guys who may be close to the weight limit that you know we have set for ourselves. Uh, me personally, I'm on a pretty good diet. I get to eat whatever I want to keep my weight up. That's amazing. Time. Yeah. Um, that's kind of just the emphasis right now, which I'm, I'm really lucky. It won't always be like that for me, I'm sure. So, uh, you know, some guys, though, I mean, our, our guy Scott, he does a great job of saying, hey, like, look, you need maybe this and maybe that, and just maybe chill out on the carbs for a little bit. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, but they do a great job. And then inside the weight room, uh, the, the, those strength coaches do a great job. They supply us with all the protein, all the supplements that we need in there to, to make sure that we're, we're fueled and ready to rock for that kind of stuff. Our boy work. Joe Looney, he is a... Uh He's a friend of Inside the Huddle. We're big fans of him. What's it like being around that guy? Uh, he, t he said that they literally had to lock his refrigerator as a child growing up. You know, sometimes people bring donuts into the facility and we have to monitor Joe to make sure he, <laughs> no, no, he does a good job. But, uh, you know, he's weigh-ins are Thursday morning, so he's in the steam room Wednesday night making sure that he's not over. <laughs> so, no, he does a good job, though, uh, you know. What's the most embarrassing thing you've got on your iPod that hypes oh, you up man. before a game? That's that's. Put me on the spot with that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, what's that? What's that song? Heroes. You know we can be heroes. Yes. Okay. 
I like that. I don't he's... know why. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry you had to hear that. Uh, no, I don't know why. I like. So in your mind, you're visualizing being another. I don't really like, know. That, was that what you were listening to before the Giants game? Yeah, it must have been. Uh, no, I don't know. I just kind of like the rhythm of it. Um, you know, I got a lot more hardcore things in it I listen to, but that's kind of probably the most. Uh, yeah, embarrassing for sure. Have you been to any awesome concerts or really sort of taken advantage of the backstage opportunity that comes with being a Cowboys player? Yeah, I haven't yet. No, I, I need to, though, because I know they're always got cool things going on at AT&T Stadium, and I haven't taken near the advantage that I need to. But Last great movie. Ooh, last great movie. You going to um, see The Joker coming out? I am going to see The Joker. I'm actually I'm really big into those kinds of things, and uh, I think that's going to be cool. I always kind of like how they... They come out with a new Joker. They always have a kind of a, a new uh, character for it. So I, I'm excited for this one. I love it. Well, before you go to your next movie, one of my favorite things growing up as a kid was smuggling in snacks. And in case you forget to stop at a convenience store and pick those snacks up, I've got the plug for you. So stick around here on Inside the Huddle. We're going to talk about it coming up uh, here in just a bit. Stay with us. Buying a car should be an easy experience. At Premier Autos of Dallas, it's just that. You just sign and drive. Talk about cars, they have plenty. They can get you any car you want. Even if you're not on the market for a car, Premier Autos of Dallas can maintain and fix any car that you have. From small jobs to big jobs, our certified mechanics have got you covered. Premier Auto of Dallas, where you can find your dream car. Hi, my name's Joshua Jones, and my story began probably like a lot of yours are right now, where I was in dental pain, and I had several options, but I'd heard the amazing reputation of Dr. Lee and his staff and Crystal Creek Dental, and so I decided to move forward with dental implants and use them, and I'm glad I did. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Dr. Lee's great. Not only am I out of pain, I feel good about my smile. Love Dr. Lee, love the, uh, the staff at Crystal Creek Dental, and uh, I highly recommend them. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. Honey, are you ready for game day? Joey, are you ready for game day? Here you go. Blow that coffee. Ah. Now you're game day ready. Get your 7-Eleven favorites delivered with the 7-Now delivery app and get $7 off your first order with the code. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Jane Slater, joined by Cowboys tight end Blake Jarwin and Femi Cole with 7 Now. And we are so excited to have you as a sponsor this year because I'm such a fan of food delivery. Yes, uh, my age group, I fall a little outside the millennial bracket, but I feel like I'm millennial-esque in the, in the sense that I want everything now. I want it at the touch of my fingertips. And this is what that app is all about. Tell me a little bit more about 7 Now. Absolutely. Thanks so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, 7 Now is 7 Eleven's proprietary delivery service. Uh, we're very, very excited uh, uh, with what we've created over the last few years. We started back in 2017 here in Dallas, Texas, uh, as a small test. We receive overwhelmingly positive feedback from our customers that they wanted delivery. Uh, and we're very proud now that we're in 200 cities across the, across the U.S. We offer 3,000 individual items you can order through 7 now. And the beauty of our service is that you can get your product in about 30 minutes. We also offer in uh, specific cities uh, the ability to order age-restricted products as well. And when you say age-restricted products, what do you mean by that? Uh, tobacco, as well as alcohol, beer, wine, et cetera. When you show up to the tailgate, it's this elaborate effort of, I need ice, I need chips, I need food, I need mixers, I need drinks. All you have to do is if you're at the stadium or you're at your house, what, touch the fingertips? Absolutely. You go ahead and you download our app. That's available um, on the, in the App Store. It's also available uh, Google Play. And you select the items that you want. 
And again, in about 30 minutes, that product is delivered right to your door. So we have the perfect assortment for game day activity. We've got chips, we've got sodas, we've got beer, ice, as well as pizza and wings. And what goes better with football than pizza and wings? Yeah, I've actually had the pizza at 7-Eleven. Have you guys ever had it? Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, I also love your sandwiches, and I always like my little like Sabra hummus cups. Big fan. I love the fact that you guys are so quick and efficient about it, and you've got a little bit of a promotion going on right now, right? Absolutely. We are so excited about, uh, about our service that if you are a new customer, we will give you your first delivery for free. So your delivery fee on your first delivery with 7Now is 100% free. And what is the delivery fee normally? Delivery fee is $3.99. It's cheaper than my other food delivery services. Absolutely. And for the moms and dads that are out there, you can become a hero by offering and ordering a Slurpee for your son or your daughter. And again, in about 30 minutes, it's at your door. I love it. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to ask you is, you know, the big deal is around the holidays, right? Are you guys open? Is this 7 now, for instance, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day? I always think of New Year's Day as when you might need some, like, help the Gatorade, the Pedialyte, <laughs> things along those lines. Oh. Can I get that on those days? <laughs> Absolutely. You can get our del delivery from 7 now, 24-7, 365 days a year. That's pretty awesome. What are some of your favorites? Like when you're on a road trip and you stop at the store, what do you have to have from 7-Eleven, Blake? Yeah, I, I have to have Doritos. That's my number one. Um, what kind of Doritos? Just the regular Doritos or spicy nacho also. Those are my second. So the nacho Doritos, yeah, you're not just, like a cool ranch well, guy. Sometimes I used to be, but I, th I think spicy, uh, spicy nacho and regular are my favorites for right now. I love it. Well, I think that you brought something for Blake because he's. we've got a car that's going to take him uh, back home, and you guys have been such awesome audience members tonight. But this guy does have a day off tomorrow, and... You know, as he said, he doesn't have to really watch his calories. He gets to eat whatever he wants right now. And he admitted he's not really getting out of bed tomorrow. So <laughs> what have we gotten here for you? Well, awesome. yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Look at what you got. I do have my Doritos. It's like Christmas I have morning them. for Blake. They're in here. Oh, that's great. Yeah. A Red Bull also and all kinds of gummy bears. And I can't. Yeah, we got some sweet stuff in there for you also. Boy. Yeah, loaded up at the bottom as well. This is like Christmas morning and he didn't even know it. Yeah, that's going to be big time for tomorrow for sure. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Femi, thank, thank you. you so much for being a part thank of the you. show. We thank you so much for your sponsorship. This is really, really cool. So guys, check it out. Blake, I appreciate you coming here. I know that your downtime is so precious. Guys, did you love getting to know this guy underneath the helmet? <laughs> awesome guy. I know you guys are going to be cheering them on. Of course, the Cowboys pay the Green Bay Packers at 325 this weekend. Thank you for tuning in. We hope to see you on the next one. Inside the Huddle has been presented by 7Now. Other sponsors of Inside the Huddle include AJL International, Beacon Hill, Green Photography, Complete Customs, Crystal Creek Dental, Elevate Health Clinics, Lone Star Neurology, House of Blues, New Beacon Wealth Management, Premier Autos of Dallas, The Rogers Healy Companies, Star Travel and Tours, Stellar, Taylor Made Heat and Air, Thompson Law, Trendy Marketing, True Choice Benefit Specialists, Empori CBD, and Bella Vita CBD Skin Care. Inside the Huddle is a Ray Salinas production. Executive Producers Ray Salinas and Chris Vandevitter.